Hello guys! As you can probably find, currently Paintstorm is not supported clipping mask layer with usual mask at same time, like it demonstrated on the left picture, but I'm pretty sure that it will be added in the future. So what you can do if you need to get same functionality for some reason. Maybe you do matte painting or some complex characters or any other stuff. To achieve this result you can imitate clipping mask by grouping layers into folder and put base silhouette layer mask onto it. And that's it. For this particular case it will be look same for both approaches and we will get this result. But this approach have one cons. It's not interactive. For example, if you decided to change base silhouette layer you should update mask manually. At first I recorded a bit longer explanation, but then decided that simple schematic picture will be better to understand. Next few minutes will be just simple demonstration examples, firstly in Photoshop, then in Paintstorm. So if you catch the idea, you have no need to watch further. For instance, you have some character or any kind of complex stuff. In our case, it will be simple cube. I specially purposely did one side of the cube with this weird distortion to show that usually objects have not so simple silhouettes. Otherwise, we can easily replace clipping masks by transform tools actions. So in Photoshop, you usually add mask on clipping mask and get what you want. Quite obvious and simple. Now let's go to the paintstorm. I did some few clipping mask layers. And now I'm trying to put mask on top of it. As you can see, it's not works. Clipping mask automatically drops. To solve this and get same behavior as in Photoshop, you should group all layers with masks that should be clipping masks. Then, to imitate clipping mask effect, choose base silhouette layer and press on layer preview with holding control, it's important. Then create mask on folder and you will get perfectly clipping mask effect. Same if you did it with clipping mask technique. And now you have freely worked with masks without worries that layers will out of borders of the main silhouette forms. And before ending I decided to show you only one weak point of this approach. That you should update your mask each time when you decided to change base silhouette layer. So I hope it was help for you and see you next time.